Global cyber exposure index ranks South Africa sixth on the list of the most targeted countries for cyber attacks with the highest concentration of exposed businesses. I think one of the comments that was made by, by a senior CISO, Henry, yesterday at lunch was, you know, when we saw the stat, it doesn't seem like there's that level of urgency when you're walking around this conference, when you're having these discussions with organizations. I think there is a high level of urgency with some of the large organizations in South Africa, but certainly, you know, lower down, and we'll talk about some of those numbers a bit later, it doesn't seem like that urgency uh, is, is, is there. Again, we, we all know that Davos um, is, is a gathering of some of the biggest nations around the world, but also some of the, the, the biggest corporates around, uh, around the world. And the interesting stats that are coming out of Davos was that the second most concerning risk for doing business globally in the next 10 years is cyber attacks. Currently, it's sitting at number six, but you can see where this is all going in the next decade. And I think CIOs have a right to be concerned. Um, if we look at the organized crime that's happening in this particular industry, we know that hackers are spending on average of 190 days inside the company, the organization's network. They're spending a long time there. They also, it's harder and harder to, to, to detect these, these particular, particular hackers. And the average cost of a breach in the USA is currently sitting at 7.9 million US dollars. It's a significant amount of money. And what we do know about these particular hackers is they are becoming increasingly more successful in what they do. As you can see here, it starts at 2014. You can see the volume of breaches um, and increases in 2016. Um, but you can actually see the level of cyber attacks that are starting to take place. Um, this, this report I pulled on the 29th of January. Um, so there may have been a, a couple of additional attacks uh, since then. Um, but 2019 really was a landmark year for, for these data breaches. Um, in the first half of last year, there were 3,800 attacks uh, or, or data breaches um, exposing uh, in, in the region of 4.1 billion records. Uh, so it really, really is ex uh, quite, quite extensive. Top left-hand corner, you'll see there, Capital One. Um, a gentleman by the name of Thompson was um, uh, kind of identified as the person who, who, who uh, uh, kind of led that, that data breach. And what he has told authorities is he's sitting with a couple of terabytes worth of data, okay, um, across 30 uh, different organizations and higher educational institutions um, yet to be identified. Cost of cybercrime, however, um, continues to grow. Um, this is the latest report that's coming over to Accenture. Um, we're hoping they're going to release their 2019 report very soon. Um, but you can actually see the year-on-year -year increase in terms of the cost of cybercrime. Um, what we do know is um, malware tax in South Africa increased by 22% last year. This translates to roughly 13,800 data breaches in South Africa every single day, or attempted data breaches every single day. The interesting fact is that 58% of these cyber attacks actually target small to medium-sized businesses. Only 14% of these small to medium-sized businesses have the ability to handle a cyber attack. And what's even more concerning is that 60% of these small businesses will be no longer in business six months after a data breach. The one thing I want to focus on is the top one is malware. The year-on-year -year increase in cost of malware is 11%. Now add this to the 22% year-on-year growth in South Africa, the compounding effect of malware attacks in South Africa is, I think, a crisis. Okay? And I really do believe that it needs to be addressed. Some of the latest research, it's not all bad news, but some of the research that has come out uh, from Gartner at the end of last year, is they're saying that by the end of 2020, is that 100% of large organizations um, or large enterprises will expect a report from the IT teams um, in terms of cybersecurity. For me, this is a positive. Um, again, it was a, it was a big topic of discuss, discussion that you know, cybersecurity cyber has been an IT discussion, um, and more and more so, we're starting to see this become an organization uh, discussion. One of the lead faculty uh, this evening actually came to me um, just before we entered the room, and he sits on the board of two financial organizations, and uh, he made the comment uh, to me this evening that it's the number one risk within both of those organizations um, as we speak. By 2022, cybersecurity ratings will become um, as important as your credit rating for doing business internationally. So for me, I think it is quite interesting that uh, cybersecurity really is, is, is becoming the forefront of business conversations.